Okay, guys, so let's continue with uh, Pravin. Pravin, the floor is yours. Yes. Hi. Uh, how many of you are into music? Okay, you play music or you listen to it? Just listen. listen. Yes. Okay. How many of you play music and uh, actually like creating music using synthesizers? Oh, great. Uh, first of all, okay, a small intro about myself. I am Praveen Kumar. I work with ThoughtWorks as a UI developer. Uh, mostly I deal with HTML, CSS for large scale websites. And when it comes to JavaScript, I am more like an enthusiast, not a good developer as you people. Uh, I just keep playing with new stuff which I uh, find. So yesterday morning I found out this awesome stuff called MIDI.js. So I'll be talk. I'll be, I'll be giving a small demo and uh, explain what MIDI.js uh, is about. Uh, it's a JavaScript frame, uh, JavaScript tool to <coughs> synthesize music. I mean, create uh, MIDI for MIDI generation. Okay. So basically, there is something called web fonts, not web fonts, uh, sound font, which is a file format used for uh, synthesizing music. Like uh, when you record music, it's it's saved as a WAV wave file or some other formats for which you need specific players to play. But when you save it as a <coughs> MIDI or sound fonts, the you need to again render it. Uh, you can think of it as SVG. Like in images, you have if it is an SVG, then you have all the. I mean, you can write it declaratively, and the browser renders it again. The same fashion, when you have sound fonts, the player or something it renders the sound back. So. What MIDI.js does is it takes the sound font file or yeah it takes the sound font file then it has an API using which you can play the music. So I created a very small demo just after coming to uh, this venue <laughs> <laughs> and yeah I'm too lazy to create slides and I believe a demo is worth thousand slides. So this is the demo. So basically, what it does is uh, here there is an it's a mapping of all the notes to numbers. I think it's visible, right? Or okay. so on the in music you have seven notes and yeah seven. Okay, if you if you know piano, then you have total twelve notes. Uh, seven of them are in white, then or uh, there are few black notes which you call sharps and flats. So here there's a mapping of all the notes. So A, A, B, B flat and all that stuff with numbers. So when you use, when you type that number and play, basically it plays the music. So what it played is uh, 50. Uh, this one? Where is it? Yeah, B. Okay. Okay. I can actually look at this and play. So if you want to play A1, it's 21. It's very bass sound. Uh, <laughs> then I'll have to keep typing and keep playing it. Take a loop and use random numbers. And play random One thing we can do is uh, make use of... I mean, use these numbers, put it in a text box and play it in a loop, we can create music like that. Yeah, but this is something which I did as an enthusiast, but there are people who are really good at doing stuff, so this is what they have built. <laughs> oh, oh. Okay, sorry. has been okay. and basically they use midi js as a uh, tool and, and for the graphics you know you can use many other <coughs> frameworks for stuff that's it so okay there is no well i wanted to show more demos but uh, it's not getting connected
is one more good demo, uh, which is Simon Says. Basically, it's a small game where you where it shows you one uh, block. You have to click on it, and it will tell you it's a score one. Then again, it starts playing. Okay, where did it? Go? It was wrong. Uh, this piece is broken. Okay. okay. I have to put this here. Now it will give more sounds. So uh, maybe we can use this for kids to learn, I mean, teach music to them or, uh, yeah, there are many use cases. This is something I found out yesterday, so I couldn't build anything uh, significant on this. That's it. Uh, Okay, so this is the URL. You can go check it out and play with it, create more stuff, share it. That's it. It's not something I made. Yeah, of <laughs> yeah, course. Yeah. Probably you, uh, uh, yesterday I think you tweeted some uh, um, app that you played. Oh, some um, uh, music from your GitHub. Uh, yeah. 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 Okay, this is, uh, I mean, yesterday I found out one more thing. One guy made a, a song of GitHub which takes all the check-ins. I mean, in GitHub you see this thing, right? Whenever you check-in or depending on the date, you have these colors. So you give the name of your I mean, GitHub account, then you play, it starts playing. So this is how my check-in sounds. <laughs> Anybody who uh, I have a lot of chickens. Oh, good. <laughs> Account? J A C E. J A C E. Yes. Yes. Yeah. My chickens will not take me. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> fun stuff with this. Uh, I actually look forward to create something and present it maybe at the demo club or something. Yes, yeah, the demo club. Right now I have only that 50 play, that's it. Thanks a lot. Thank you. So next we'll have Ankur.